Color e-ink devices in the year 2020 seem to have come out overnight, it feels like. There are now four devices on the market that are running color e-ink screens. Today in front of you, you see every possible color e-ink device that is currently available for consumer purchase. What do all these do? What are they? And how do they perform? Let's check it out. <laughs> First on the list is the Color E-Ink Smartphone by Hisense. This one is actually split into two different devices, but they basically are the same thing. This is the A5C and the A5 Pro CC. The A5C is actually built off of an older Hisense A5 model that featured no fingerprint touch or even a speaker. The speaker was actually bundled inside the earpiece so that it didn't actually offer the best overall experience. After the A5C got released, it immediately got cannibalized by the A5 Pro CC, which featured more RAM, better processing, fingerprint touch on the back, isolated speaker on the bottom. It still had the same e-ink button on the side, but this time it was just an overall better package. And it also featured four speed modes, which allowed you to watch videos, visit social media, and basically do anything you want. This is a full color screen, but a major downside was that both the screen itself and the screen protector were both gloss and glass, meaning that when you look at it, it's very reflective. Next on the list is actually the world's first e-ink device to ever run color to be released. We're not going to split hairs and count the pocketbook Color Lux and the old Jetbook Color 2 and a bunch of other iterations because those are basically just one trick ponies, they're one off devices, never had a follow up generation. This is the iReader C6. This device actually ran the current and most modern e-ink technology that we know today. It is a six inch screen, but man, does it look nice. It featured a white bezel, white backing with a USB-C, its own speaker, and a sunken screen with a glow light on it showing full color. It was a little bit blue, but it does offer a decent amount of performance. Now, the downside about this device was that not only is it only in Chinese, but it did lock you into a Chinese ecosystem, meaning you can't even really navigate navigate over to web pages without being directed into a Chinese catered website environment. So you couldn't actually download any applications, go to Facebook, go to YouTube or anything like that. Although if you sideload content in, it works perfectly fine in any language. Next on the list is the basically the follow-up for the Chinese market of color e-readers, the iFlyTech eBook. This one looked even better than the iReader. It featured a flush screen and bezel, the only other e-reader to have a flush screen and bezel with color. It has everything else like a speaker on the back and it has a status indicator light built into the power button with USB-C and this one actually has two screws on the bottom if you want to service your device. The colors looked amazing with its red and blue color options, and it just felt better in your hand to have something that had flush screen and bezel. It was a little bit more modern. But having that flush screen and bezel kind of pushed away the colors to the back of the device because you had something in the way of your eyes. But it was overall a great experience, and it's the most modern and latest released color e-ink device to date. From a sales standpoint, an international exposure standpoint and overall just the best performance, you can't really get better than the Pocketbook Color. It is one of the latest devices to be released, but it's one of the best. It's in basically any language from a choice of 27 different languages. You do have the ability to sideload in your own content much like the others. This one has an SD card slot and although you are locked into a micro USB, that shouldn't deny the fact that this is a great device. It has Bluetooth that is running the same e-ink print color e-paper technology, it has text-to-speech, comes with a dongle in the box, and it actually has a coloring application and a coloring scribble application as well. This thing was the most internationally accepted device because it had an international audience already. Pocketbook has been in the game for 10 years. 
but it also just gave you that flexibility to just breathe easy, choose your own language, choose your own keyboard, choose your own books, and just have an overall nicer experience that didn't feel so isolated and locked out. There's also a couple little things like Chess and Klondike preloaded onto the device. The Pocketbook Color is currently the greatest color e-ink device out, however, there are only four to choose from. If you guys agree with our list or don't agree with our list, which we hope you do agree because these are the only devices available, and if you guys are on the fence of color, these are the four or five color devices currently available to the consumer public. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, let us know. For Goody Reader and a wrap-up of the current color technology, this is Peter.